Hi everyone, I would like to talk to you about the Whirlpool French door bottom freezer refrigerator. First off, there is one thing I need to let you know about this refrigerator. This refrigerator is massive. It doesn't look it. What you do not understand is, is my child is six foot tall and this refrigerator is taller than him. So if you have a six foot space, this is not the refrigerator for you. This is also a person and a half wide. It is a very, very, very big refrigerator. It doesn't look it, but it is. You have to go based by the feet. As you can see, the depth of my counters, it's pretty big. I mean, it's good six to, uh, six to eight inches from the countertops. Very, very, very deep refrigerator. As you can also see is the top of it, you have another inch above it you got to make room for the refrigerator. So if you're going to buy this refrigerator, measure your space, and then of course, measure an inch. Here's my finger here, so you can see my knuckles. Measure an, an, an extra inch, just for the top, not to mention the bottom. The handles will be installed by the person when you get them in. It comes as assembled. I have a 35 inch doorway and my refrigerator had to be disassembled in order to come through the doorway. So if you do not, if you have a doorway that is smaller than 35 inches in width, your refrigerator will not fit through the doorway. Before we go inside, let me talk to you about this. This is a smooth surface. Very smooth. Um, I want to say magnetic to show you these are really strong magnets. Very smooth, so if you want to hang pictures on here or anything like that, no problem. Now this other side is a rough surface. It's a rough texture. Uh, little thin magnets for like uh, measuring or like rotor root or whatever is not going to fit on there. They're going to fall out. So let's get, uh, now that we're done with everything, let's get started. There is a gap here, but that is okay. It doesn't affect anything. This is your pull-out drawer. Every freezer's drawers are different. So you have to make sure that you have the right refrigerator for you. Now, I have the double basket. The inserts come out. I can move them if I want to. I don't have to. The baskets, as you can see, can easily pull them out for easy cleaning. And they're on sliding tracks. These are very, very, very heavy. Now, I don't have my freezer, my ice tray hooked up yet because I have to flip my kitchen first. So you're definitely going to need a water line added in. So please remember that you're going to have to add in a water line also, which includes, which includes drilling. Now, to let you know what we have in here, I have three or four things of ice cream, about four, about four pork chops per bag. There's about three, one, two, four stacks of pork chops there. I have two of every vegetable in my freezer, as you can see. Now, I'm not using my ice maker, again drawers can be removed or taken out. This is why I wanted the flat top drawer so you have more space. So you guys can see you can hold a lot of food in here. I can guarantee you that if you spend $140 worth of meat it will fit in here. Now it just looks like everything's stacked up but again I have Ziploc baggies of chicken enough to feed us for a month. I went shopping for meat for one month and it's all in here. I have a family of four. Believe me, it'll all fit in here. $140 with the meat, no problem. One of the reasons why I like the design of the French doors is for simple as this. When you open up your, front, your refrigerator, the whole entire refrigerator opens. You cool down your refrigerator, and then your refrigerator, um, everything in your refrigerator adjusts to the temperature. Not with these French doors. This is why I like the French doors. First off, you can fit a lot of crap in these drawers. I went shopping yesterday, so this is filled to the max on my drawers. Now, the cool thing is, is this bar right here. This is what seals the deal on your doors. So when you shut your door, it won't close. It naturally will flip back on its own. The only problem that I have with this door is if someone slams your refrigerator door closed too hard, 
this one pops open. And you got to be careful. So don't let anybody slam your refrigerator doors. So you got to get on them about slamming doors. Again, we got a lot of room in here still. As you can see, it's, it's not being filled up. Look, third gallon of milk. This is what I love about this refrigerator. Look at this. Your cake drawer. Still, a lot of room. This is only for a month of food for my house. You still have a lot of room. So if you're a family of six, it's the perfect refrigerator for you. Vegetables. And I have my vegetable setting. You have vegetable and fruit setting. Again, fruits and veggies. That is a brick of cheese back there, by the way. Look at the soda. I got three tubs of butter back there, chicken, and turkey legs back there for soup. More soda. And as you can see, everything's lit up. Everything is lit up, no problem. You got a lot of room in here, and here are your settings at the light adjust. I have my refrigerator set high because of it being a month. I have to set a little bit higher for freezing purposes because I want it almost freezing due to the fact that I need this stuff to last a little longer. Um, the only difference is with those settings that I have it set at is your milk's a little colder and your pop is a little colder also. So I'm going to back up. I'm going to show you how far these doors open up. They open all the way up. This is... I mean, look at all the space in there. You still have space. By the way, every one of these shelves adjust. If you look in here and you see, these are metal shelves. Every one of them adjusts. I can have them as big and small as I want, as short as I want to fit, and to customize everything that I need. And the fact that if you take a step back and as full as it is, everything still lights up. You still see everything. So here you go, everybody. This is the Frigidaire. French door refrigerator. Now I'm going to give you a little hint because yeah, these refrigerators are expensive. If you get the refrigerator without the water dispenser, which I don't have the water dispenser, I have tap water. If you get it without the water dispenser, your refrigerator is $1,000 cheaper. Every refrigerator comes standard with the ice box, but it will be $1,000 cheaper if you do not have that refrigerator door or refrigerator front water dispenser, excuse me, on your door. So here you go, one last time. The Whirlpool double French door in white with a bottom freezer refrigerator.